Happy Thursday. It's uh, June 29th and it's about quarter after 9 a.m. Eastern. So we're about qu uh, 15 minutes away from the uh, North American market open. i um, recording this a little later than I usually like to, but it's been one of those mornings. Uh, so bear with me. Um, as you can tell, uh, the bulls are still very much in control. Um, after yesterday's news, which you can see uh, at the far left of the screen here, um, we we had the initial uh, drop and then uh, very rapid rise, um, rapid rise, but not a terribly significant rise um, above uh, 44 to the high 44s. Um, we sold our long position yesterday at uh, 4477, um, which was kind of the resistance level that we encountered uh, in uh, late day trading. And um, yeah, I don't particularly regret it, but unfortunately we are higher today. So had I waited, um, it would have been a much nicer exit um, this morning. Uh, that being said, uh, yesterday I was calling for adding shorts well above 45. And I think that's still my plan today. Um, now the definition of well above is, um, well, it's big. <laughs> So, you know, is it 45, um, 30 or 40, which is uh, our highs so far today? Um, 45, 38 is our high so far. Um, if we keep climbing, which of course is very uh, possible, then we might reach um, even higher above 46 today. Uh, it isn't out of the question. In which case, you know, it's really gonna solidify the, the bull's sentiment that we've seen the bottom and we're just going to keep climbing. Um, you'll remember that my opinion is that we're not going to reach the highs that we saw um, a month ago and that we're kind of going to bounce around within a range of kind of the mid to low 40s for a while. So I am looking to add to my short position. We've got one short right now at 44.16. Um, and you know, 40, 45, 40 ish is already pretty attractive. Um, I would pref you know, my next long is at 46 and a half, so I would prefer to see a short in closer to 46. Although I don't know if we get there today, um, or I don't know if we get there this week. I it would not surprise me at all if today reversed direction completely, and we ended up closer to 43 by closing. Um, you know, I've also been reminded that it is the July 4th uh, weekend coming up. Uh, soon and uh, markets like to rally in advance of that holiday weekend so you know can we see uh, can we see this rally just uh, persist absolutely we could and if that's the case adding shorts this low down will kind of hurt for a little while um, I've been saying that we will see 42 again and I still believe that um, but it might be longer than I thought so we'll see. Um, as you can tell, I trade cautiously. I hedge my positions and although I take a position and I believe in a particular direction and for now I'm, I, I still am bullish long term, um, short term I am bearish. So I see a reversal downward. Um, the question is from which high do we reverse? Is it from here or is it from 46 or 48? Um, I don't claim to know and anyone who does claim to know is really, I think, just BSing you. Um, so that's the game plan. I'm going to be looking to add to a short. The question is whether I'm going to add to a short um, shortly after markets open, if they open high enough, or if I'm going to be a little bit more patient and, and wait for a better entry um, at uh, you know 10.30ish or even European close. Um, assuming we don't start to drop. Um, right now we can see that there is a, a pullback um, from those highs. So it wouldn't surprise me now if we ended up opening below 45 and closer to where we actually closed, kind of the 44.80-ish um, price point. Um, in which case, I think the bulls might go for another rally upward, um, but I'm not going to be buying any longs um, at this point. Um, I'm going to be looking for a short well above 45 like I said or if we do drop then I'm just going to ride the drop down and uh, look to repurchase along um, wherever it is that we settle uh, preferably closer to 43. 
Uh, so that's my game plan. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. Uh, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my trades and portfolio. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up and I'll check back with you guys at the end of the uh, day um, at or before uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Good luck to all. Cheers. Cheers.